say this is soft partition in Iraq would lead to a full blown war. How is that any different from the current state of Iraq is right now? They're in a war with each other right now. Correct? Yeah. Iraq currently is like on the verge of a war, right? So basically the thin they are on the war right now. They're fighting on they're on the verge of a war. What was your question? How the fact that right now Iraq is in civil war, you won't be risking anything by imposing soft partition because you can't be risking nothing. Soft partition would be splitting up the region. Iraqis have already said that they would rather be unified Iraq be present. That is like worsening the burden that's already on them. You're going against them once again. So it is going to lead to civil war. They are already in civil war. They're on the verge. How so? They're fighting amongst each other within their own country. If they're on the civil war, then how come as a current event they're trying to implement soft partition? The Iraq themselves are not trying to implement soft partition. I didn't say that. I said as a current event, as in this country. Our country is on par now. Within their own country, they are having civil war. Not yet. It hasn't begun yet. Soft partition is to stop that if you check your resources. However, I know fully that soft partition is not the way to stop civil war. Let's talk truth. Let's talk about the truth. Do you believe that the troops are going to come home as a, as a result of self-partition? Initially, no. Initially, there would be a surge of troops then. But, and as a whole, in the long run, we would form a supporting government. And in the long run, it would allow us to remove our troops. It's a good plan for the future. But immediately, it would result in more deaths. But it's a small price to pay because currently, people are dying, like, very rapidly. I understand that 4,000 troops have already perished. However, the troop count, you understand that the troop count will surge at the beginning. Yes. However, your argument is that it'll decrease over time, right? It will. However, as the new in four or five years, the 135,000 troops that are already there is going to increase even more, from 75,000 to above 135,000, which I said in my argument if you were paying close attention. Which is consistent with the initial surge. But after a while, the troop number would decrease and an overall result. After five years. After five years. So currently, we're spending two hundred thousand dollars a minute in Iraq. So while I wasn't worrying about the money issue, money right and lives, same thing. No, it's not. It's it's totally different. Totally no. different. Yes, but no, it's totally different. Money. It's still expensive. No, it's not. How can you do that last thing? So you're going to put U.S. troops on the border of the Kurdish, Sunni, and Shia section, so that the Muslims can go through the troops, kill them in the process, and go kill the op opposing group. Are you saying that? Thank you. 